as rector of this city, one of the first things that I learnt when I came here was that here in my parish, in the section of the city known as Northern, there wasn't a single family who didn't lose somebody in that accident. And so when I began to think about what we're doing here today, I remembered the sorrow and the grief of this city. A memorial service in Southampton, one of many events marking the 80th anniversary of a maritime disaster unparalleled in peacetime history, a disaster that the city has now come to terms with, but which it can't forget. This is probably the last big anniversary where survivors can still tell the story of the fateful day when this great liner on her maiden voyage from Southampton struck an iceberg in mid-Atlantic. And my father said, I'm, I'll go and see what's the matter. See, you know, and he went out to see what was wrong. And he came back and he says, she struck the iceberg three times, you know. She hit it first, then the second time, and the third time she stopped. So my father said, come up on deck, he says, because he says, it doesn't look too happy. But such pessimistic forecasts were far from the thoughts of passengers as they enjoyed their fourth night aboard the world's largest and most luxurious liner their lavish surroundings shielding them from the icy Atlantic. Even though the ship was fatally damaged, no one imagined that they were in any danger. All the ice from the um, um, iceberg was on the deck, and the young boys thought it just fun playing with it. They did, didn't realise that the ship was sinking. No, she can't sink. But sink she did, only 700 were saved. Southampton was plunged into deep mourning, the world was stunned. The Titanic was the best that money could buy, but the supposedly unsinkable sank in little more than two and a half hours. In memoriam, postcards were quickly produced and even special music was recorded for the new gramophone. When the mighty ship Titanic started from Southampton Bay, there were tears and fun goodbyes to her ship. Children in Southampton have been busy recreating the events surrounding the disaster. Some adults have made it a lifetime interest. This huge cardboard model of the Titanic is taking Bob Pryor years to complete. Well, I wanted to build a model of the ship that would give me all the interior rooms the squash court, everything that we show, the beautiful interior of the ship. Hopefully another two years should see it through. But, uh, and what so will you do with it then? Well, I'd like to give it to a museum so other people can look at it and appreciate the ship. Whatever the point of interest in the Titanic, the focus in Southampton this week at least is on the crew, particularly the engineers, who stayed at their posts till the end and went down with the ship. They kept the lights going on the, ships, the ship until the last three minutes of going down. And you can imagine the, the tremendous panic there would have been and all those people, you know, the lifeboats had gone and things like this, but the lights were still on. And uh, all of them died, of course. There's just no way could they get out. The engineers give their all that night, and we want people to remember that. <laughs> 